Uh, my relationship with Sweden has been since 1980, uh, which was uh, three years after the start of the cooperation with Tanzania. I went there on a WHO uh, Swedish institution uh, collaboration meeting uh, called Nobel Conference 3, and it was discussing acute diarrhea in children, uh, treatment and, uh, and the prospects for prevention and control. That was the time when the fight against acute diarrhea was at its height in WHO. And as you may know, diarrhea is a much reduced problem in Tanzania now, uh, as in the other developing countries. And Sweden did play quite a significant role in that area. In 1985, uh, I met in Bangui, Central African Republic. There was a first meeting by WHO on HIV AIDS in Africa. And there, I met two Swedish professors, Professor Lars Kallings, uh, who was then the Director General of the Swedish Bacteriology Laboratory, Communicable Disease Control Laboratory, and Anders Jokman. And there, we had uh, lunch one day. We went out with African and European and American scientists with a good lunch, which consisted of rice, a lot of, a lot of chilies, pepper, and some meat, which was small pieces of meat, and it was enjoyable. At the end of it, I asked, by the way, what is this meat? And it was monkey meat. <laughs> In Central Africa, where we're discussing HIV AIDS. And in that evening, our Swedish colleagues told us, told me, the Swedish government has two million uh, kronas, which could be used in the fight against HIV AIDS. Would you be interested? And I said, oh my God. <laughs> and from there on, the relationship started. And that's why we had the SAREC uh, participating in the fight against HIV AIDS in Tanzania. We did the initial studies countrywide and described the problem. And the fight started to the present time when it's continued, and I'm happy the problem has gone down, but this fight is still on. So what are research universities? This is a, from the, there are few such universities globally, and most of them are in the USA. I'm aware some of those in Sweden are also uh, research institutions, where research is at the forefront of the activities. These research universities are universities in which original research and scholarship are an integral and major part of the university mission. So, university mission number one, research, and then the other things follow. Secondly, they are universities which uh, 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 the faculty is, uh, uh, are not simply teachers of the works of others, but rather are active contributors to what is taught, thought, and practiced around the world. For them, research is the number one mission. They attract the best researchers in a country and produce most of the country's PhDs for medicine, MD, in the States, MD is a postgraduate degree, MS, super specialty, MS. I'm talking from on, on medicine because I'm a medical doctor to start with, and postdoctorates. And I've seen one article which said they produce more than 50 PhDs per year. I believe some universities like Karolinska, which I've been associated with, produce more than 200 PhDs per year. One time I went there, when they gave me a ring, uh, I think there were 350 PhDs in one sitting. So those are research uh, universities. Would you agree with that? Now, for them, your research universities and graduates for sci are of priority, low priority, number three. In Tanzania, most universities are struggling to get in more undergraduates. I don't know for what reason, maybe to get more tuition money. But with teaching, some of us have been teaching one a classes of 400 students. And with such teaching and examination, does one have the uh, ability to do cutting-edge research? Yes or no? 
So, quality teaching is not a priority in many of such research institutions. And they also offer honors degrees if they are undergraduates. So, primary, premier research uh, universities, through innovation and discovery, have been powerful engines for change and transformation in countries. So with the 40 years of CEDA support and collaboration, has any of the participating universities in Tanzania attained research university status? That's a question. And I'm sure we have vice chancellor here. They may wish to respond yes or no. <laughs> According to the criteria I've summarized, the, uh, I feel that CEDA research and training support and collaboration has contributed significantly to elevation of MOOCs and uh, ALDI to university status. Uh, but, but we don't have research universities in Tanzania as yet. And why haven't we got research universities in the country? One, those in the country are concentrating on undergraduate uh, education, which I have said. This is cheaper to run instead of graduate research training, which is much more costly, requires senior faculty, and also requires uh, research infrastructure. Two, there is no policy yet in Tanzania and in most developing countries to support the establishment of research universities. Three, with the Tanzania's plans for industrialization towards middle-income economy, it appears appropriate to start considering the need for establishing of few research universities to conduct cutting-edge research, to generate new technologies, skills, etc., to support the industries. Some of the research industries, uh, universities established in the world were established during the Second World War in order to address issues there. So in places where you have crisis, you may need fit think tanks to address the crisis and may and that's the reason some of these came up so it is suggested that if part of the one percent of gdp pledged by tanzania to fund research could be set aside to support a few research institutions research universities we could make a headway in development on the country in conclusion, I would like to uh, say the Swedish Research Corporation support to universities in Tanzania of the past 40 years, especially since the mid-80s, has been substantial and has enabled their growth towards attaining research university status. And following the decision to move towards middle-income in, uh, economy by 2025, with major uh, uh, emphasis on industrialization, there's a need to consider the establishment of and support of a few research universities, which will concentrate on research for development and leave the general training of undergraduates uh, to other universities uh, and, and concentrate on this. And I hope this can be accepted by the policymakers, et cetera, uh, so that we can have the Massachusetts Institute of Technology type of universities coming up in Tanzania in order to speed, peer ahead uh, rapid development of the country. I thank you all for listening.